In today's Money Monday, we are looking into the future with questions brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. There is a lot to cover, so let's get right to Jamie Meredith, Senior Vice President of Heffron Tillotson. As always, thank you for joining us, Jamie. We appreciate it. It's always good to be here. And I want to ask first, just advice for people who have lost their jobs right now. There are a lot of people hurting. Some of them are getting unemployment, not all of them. Uh, what advice would you give them right now? This is such a tough time for a lot of folks out there. There's a whole lot of uncertainty. There's folks that don't have a job and really looking forward, they may not see a way out of this. Uh, the most important thing is don't crawl into a shell. If you're facing some financial hardships, the governments, both the federal government and the state government, and even some other agencies are working really, really hard to provide financial relief. So things like mortgages, student loans, car payments, uh, bank accounts, overdraft fees. There are a lot going on to provide some relief until we get on the other end of this. It's really easy to ignore those phone calls that, hey, you're overdue with this, you're overdue with that. It's really easy to ignore those letters saying the same thing, but you can't let that snowball. Call your lenders, call your servicers, explain the situation. You're not alone, and there's a very good chance that you will receive some assistance to help you through this. Let's talk about investments and whether we should be changing anything with our investments. I'll tell you, people that are looking at their 401ks right now, I got a statement last night. I had lost a quarter of what I had in there, and it makes you nervous. Should, should we think about moving things somewhere else, or do we just stay calm and stick with it? Well, the answer is uh, it depends. Our body are, uh, is wired. We've got tens of thousands of years of evolution that says when there's pain, we back away. When we put our hand on a hot stove, we want to pull our hand away. When we look at our statements, our investment statements, and they're down, that's painful, and we want to pull away. The number one thing that you have to do is uh, put off the urge to make knee-jerk reactions. Put off the urge to go to cash and wait for a better time. That's what it feels like you should be doing but you shouldn't. Uh, the studies have shown internally, we've been tracking this with clients, it's very, very challenging to time the market. The most important thing you can do is make sure that you have quality investments. Go to the internet, look at your investments, look at your funds, your ETFs, search for the top 10 holdings, look at those companies, ask yourself, are these companies going to be better off a year from now or worse off a year from now? If you think they're gonna be better off, well, just let them sit and do their thing. The markets will recover. If you have some questions and some uh, concerns about the viability of what you own, maybe that's where you should be making moves in your portfolio. If you are taking distributions from your portfolio, if you're retired and living off of your portfolio, what you should be doing now that the markets have recovered a bit is looking out over the next six months, looking out over the next year, making sure that you have enough cash and enough income to meet all of your needs so you may not be forced or painted into a corner to be forced to sell when the markets have one of these wild gyrations downward. What do you recommend? People are getting the stimulus checks. Some people are getting their, their tax refunds already if they have filed, even though the deadline has been pushed out now. What do you recommend people do with that money? Well, uh, the government is going to want you to spend it. Uh, one of the problems right now is we've stopped spending. Stores are closed. Uh, we're not doing what we want to do, and that's part of the stimulus. The financial planner in me says, well, don't just go out and blow it. Look at Again, look forward over the next six months. Do you have important distributions that you need to make? Has your income fallen? And maybe you may need this stimulus check, your tax return, to pay your mortgage, not today, but two months from now, three months from now, as things get tight. So it's really, really important to uh, do a budget. We know everybody hates doing a budget. It makes you feel constrained. But you really need to look at your cash flow over the next couple months or weeks uh, and really ask yourself, am I going to have to outlay cash for certain things, whether they're mm -hmm. daily expenses, monthly expenses, or maybe home repairs or car repairs, and ask yourself, where am I going to get that money, especially if the market's down and you can't tap those resources. If you foresee needing to spend, well, keep that powder dry, keep that money in your account. If you don't, well, go out and support your local businesses. We've got a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, a lot of local businesses that are really suffering right now. Order takeout, treat the family to a nice dinner. I'm sure uh, the, the primary cook of the house would, would love having a night off. Uh, go out and support the community.
Yes, the primary cook probably would like a nice night yes. off. <laughs> thank you so much, Jamie, as always, for answering our questions. And we want to thank Heffron Tillotson for sponsoring today's Money Monday segment.